Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, friends and members of our Oblate de Macedonian family. Welcome to our Oblate morning prayer. Today is Good Shepherd Sunday, and at the same time, World Day of Prayer for Vocations. So in a special way, we offer and dedicate our prayers, praying for vocations, and praying for fidelity and perseverance of all our Good Shepherds and those who have been called into the ministry. Today, we are very much privileged to be joined by some students and members of the Catholic Society of Queen Mary University in London. Opening prayer. We are the flock guided and protected by Jesus, the Good Shepherd who gave his life for us. Full of confidence in his compassionate love, we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Gospel reading today is from the account of St. John, chapter 10, verses 11 to 18. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd is one who lays down his life for his sheep. The hired man, since he is not the shepherd, and the sheep do not belong to him, abandons the sheep and runs away, as soon as he sees a wolf coming, and then the wolf attacks and scatters the sheep. This is because he is only a hired man and has no concern for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for my sheep. And there are other sheep I have that are not of this fold, and this I have to lead as well. They too will listen to my voice, and there will be only one flock and one shepherd. The Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me. I lay it down of my own free will, and as it is in my power to lay it down, so it is in my power to take it up again. And this is the command I have been given by my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Let me share with you this beautiful reflection from Sister Bernadita Dianzon about our Gospel reading. Shepherding is a favourite image for leadership. The uniqueness of Jesus' self-identification as a shepherd is not only the qualifier good, but how he interprets it from the perspective of the cross. Shepherds are good if they are genuinely concerned about the welfare of the sheep. In the face of danger, they may even be willing to risk their lives to safeguard their sheep. But Jesus introduces a new element to the notion of being a good shepherd. He alone speaks of freely and voluntarily laying down his life for the sheep. It points to a leadership which is a total investment of oneself, a life-giving shepherding which can never be a paid job. All genuine leadership, following the example of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, is a cruciform, cross-shaped leadership. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son. Raise up leaders among us who are willing to learn your self-sacrificing, life-giving mode of shepherding, 
We, o- we ask all these through Christ our Lord, who offered himself for us all, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much indeed, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, for joining me in our oblate morning prayer today. And we thank as well the students and members of our Catholic Society from Queen Mary University of London in leading us in our morning prayer. Before we end, let us take time to pray for vocations as we observe this day as World Day of Prayer for Vocations. We pray for vocations especially to our oblate missionary family. Prayer for vocations. Loving God, you called Saint Eugene to send forth missionaries to proclaim and live the gospel among the poor. Increase our love, we pray, for those who are most abandoned. Extend your loving call to many young people in our community and grant them the desire to give themselves, their lives, their talents, to the service of Jesus Christ and the Church. May our young people answer your call as missionary oblates of Mary Immaculate to serve those who are in need. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary Immaculate, pray for us. Saint Eugene de Mazinod, pray for us. Blessed Joseph Gerard, pray for us. Blessed Joseph Cebola, pray for us. Blessed Oblate Martyrs of Spain, pray for us. Blessed Oblate Martyrs of Laos, pray for us. God bless us all. Amen.